Well, the Humane Society says it's required to investigate possible violations of Omaha's animal laws. NHS says the tip leading to last month's raid comes after two other calls this year in separate incidents. A heartfelt protest on a cold and rainy afternoon. Dozens of people call on the Nebraska Humane Society to return nine animals seized from Scatter Joy Acres. Where are they? I want to know where they are. Organizer Jennifer Henning wants an apology. Her four-year-old son benefits from the petting zoo's animal-assisted therapy program. This affects far more than just a few people in that office. While they're sitting in that office, we're out here, my child's struggling. I want to make sure they know we're taking a stand. The Humane Society says public safety comes first, following three complaints about scattered joy in the past five months. NHS says the first call came in April from a government agency, alleging the ranch took in a wild raccoon and put it on a display for children. Animal Control took the raccoon and released it into the wild. The Humane Society says it got another call the next month, alleging scattered joy was transporting rescue dogs without a permit. NHS says an officer told the owner she'd need a permit for that. Then in August, another tip led humane officers to seize nine exotic animals. Scatter Joy has since filed a complaint to get them back, including Aquila. Jennifer Henning's little boy misses the porcupine dearly. We want justice for Scatter Joy Acres. My son needs his therapy animals back, and we're here to let everybody know, give us the animals back. Now, the Humane Society says Scatter Joy does have several permits, but is still not allowed to catch wild animals for its petting zoo. We reached out to a Scatter Joy Acres board member about the previous allegations by NHS. Tim Heller says he'll review those at his earliest convenience. Back to you.